Hello, this is your Congressman Michael Burgess. Last week I spoke with you about how the implementation of the President's health care law will affect health insurance premiums. This week I wanted to talk to you about how this legislation will affect American jobs. In a struggling economy, we need to avoid costly regulations and heavy taxes. But it is plain to see that through the Affordable Care Act, the President has decided to overregulate the job market again by forcing this legislation on business owners. Nearly half of small business owners blame potential health care costs and government regulations for not being able to hire new workers. Under the new law, business owners have to provide health care for all employees working 30 hours or more a week. Otherwise, the businesses will be heavily taxed. To avoid the new taxes, many businesses are going to be forced to reduce the hours of many of their employees to less than 30 hours a week. In fact, a recent study from out of the University of California at Berkeley on the effects of the Affordable Care Act reported that millions are at risk of having their hours reduced. It's clear that the creators of the Affordable Care Act didn't step back and think about the consequences this could have on employees. Cutting back a couple of hours a week in a job schedule may not seem like much, but to many Americans that small difference in earnings will make a big difference. It will force many people to go out and find another job to make up the hours in order to make ends meet. That's why I co-sponsored the American Jobs Protection Act. This piece of legislation would repeal the employer mandate of the Affordable Care Act that is killing jobs and lowering incomes. Going forward, I hope that the administration will realize that we need to allow job creators to expand businesses and produce jobs. In the end, that's the only way we can get our economy back on track. Thank you for taking the time to listen. For more information on legislative issues before the United States Congress, please visit my website, burgess.house.gov. May God bless you and your family, and as always, may God bless Texas.